All right, well, welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's on Beowulf. Back at it with another YouTube video. Now, I saw this today. I was actually going to be filming a different video, and I saw this, and I'm like, well, this is going to jump the charts of uh, videos I like to be making. So, uh, whoo -hoo -hoo, man, I can't believe this happened. When this video is up, I think it happened four days ago. But when I saw this happen three days ago, it happened on September. September 14, 2021, and the craziest thing is I've not heard anything about it. I was stumbling upon just scrolling through TikTok, and I saw somebody post about this, and I had to fact check it to make sure it's legit. And when I saw it, I'm like, how is this not all over the news talking about this? But I guess, you know, sometimes they don't want people to be seeing stuff like this it's nothing wrong it's just showing um, uh, how dangerous this is before getting to this article I have to laugh because uh, 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 I was just talking to a relative and I'm like I was just woke up going through my YouTubes uh, that I usually watch in the morning of just like whatever I'm into and this one channel posts about this video about how during World War II the Japanese launched torpedoes at the Golden Gate Bridge and one of the torpedoes was found years later on uh, the beach closest to the Golden Gate Bridge and they were planning to do this big attack right after Pearl Harbor and I'm thinking like holy cow this is crazy now uh, let's fast forward we're in 2021 we're not in the 1940s anymore and uh, man this is just crazy let's get all talking about this uh, this uh, video so it says here the title of this says U.S. Coast Guard cutters shadow Chinese warships sailing near remote U.S. territory in Alaska. And I have to say, it's the times of me going jet skiing, and I'd see how armed the Coast Guard were going off shore, and sometimes I'm like, well, what are they going after? You know, and then seeing the stuff I said of what happened in, right after Pearl Harbor and World War II, and, uh, and then seeing this, you can see why they are out there like they are. And I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what branch of the military you're in or the Coast Guard. Um, you know, stuff's dangerous, man. It's, this, is, this is crazy. I'll throw a couple pictures from this, too, because it's like you can just see this is, this is pretty wild. So it says here, during routine patrol in the Bering Sea of the Arctic, U.S. Coast Guard Cutter Barathol spotted and established contact with Chinese warships on August 30th, 2021. So, but this is actually even more interesting. This, so the article was posted on September 14th, but this shows this happened on August 30th. So this would be all relating uh, right around the time we, the last US troops were leaving Kabul airport in Afghanistan so uh, go figure right uh, this is your US car and this photo is courtesy of the US Coast Guard obviously it says uh, four Chinese warships were recently spotted conducting military operations near Alaska Alatushan Islands I might have pronounced that right uh, that's actually be scary if you're, you're from Alaska you you know they're they're hopping skip a jump from uh from Russia and had seen this man I'd, I'd definitely be if I'm uh, if tell anybody who's watching it from Alaska I mean definitely be a, be safe they had a big tsunami warning too not that long ago a couple of months ago uh, it says the ships were tracked by the US, Co US Coast Guard cutters did not enter US territorial waters news of the Chinese or news of the China's activity near Alaska Follow Chinese complaints about U.S. Navy activity in the South China Sea. A lot of people aren't aware of uh, the China. Their season up, there would be international water, and they're claiming it's their water, and they're just building islands and military operations all throughout there. I mean, what I just don't understand is why can't we all get along? We're all on the planet Earth, and we all should be, we all should be like not trying to take more from somebody else. I don't care who you are. I mean, it's just, we all should. Further on human civilization to whatever it's going to be like from here hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years from now and not have to be, it's always some type of conflict. It's just, I don't understand. 
Why it should be like that song. Why can't we be friends? Oh, why can't we be friends? It says here, four Chinese Navy vessels were recently spotted operating in waters near Alaska Aleutian Islands. The U.S. Coast Guard said it statement on Monday. The People's Liberation Army Navy Task Force, comprising of guided missile cruiser, a guided missile destroyer. A general intelligence vessel and an auxiliary vessel was conducting military and surveillance operations in the Bering Sea of the North Pacific. The Chinese vessels entered the U.S. exclusive economic zone but remaining in international waters. The ship were in the EEZ -E from August 29th to September 1st, a Coast Guard official told Insider Monday evening. And there's this photo I'll just have to show. It's just like you can see them just shadowing, following them. And I, I can't even imagine, you know, like what type of weaponry is on the Coast Guard. Uh, the Coast Guard don't have missiles, I can tell you that. So uh, that would have to have been a very sleepless nights for uh, any of those people on board the Coast Guard ship following this, wondering what's going to happen next. Uh, luckily, nothing happened, but uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. It says here, the closest the vessels came to U.S. territory was when they sailed within about 46 miles of one of the Aleutian Islands' territorial waters extend 12 miles from the coast. The EEZ extends roughly 230 miles. It says the four Chinese warships were shadowed and monitored by the U.S. Coast Guard cutters Barov and Kimball and were visible in Coast, Go Coast Guard images. So they had two of their cutters following that. He imagine getting on radio, we need, we need backup. Uh, the crew of the battle throw made radio contact with the Chinese ships and the service said all interactions were constant with international standards. Says the security of the Bering Sea and the Arctic Homeland Security Coast Guard Pacific Area Commander Vic Admiral Michael, I think it's McAllister. I don't know if he's related to uh, Kevin McAllister of the Home Alone, but maybe. <laughs> this kid. I uh, said in a statement adding that the U.S. Coast Guard is constantly present in the important region to unhold, uphold American interest and protect the U.S. economic prosperities. In the report published Monday, state affiliated tabloid Global Times cited Chinese analysts are saying that activity could be seen as countermeasure against U.S. military provocations on Chinese doorsteps in the name of freedom of navigation. Uh, it says here, sensitive waters. Last week, the U.S. Carl Vinson, the first aircraft carrier to deploy with F-35C stealth fighters, sailed into the South China Sea. The destroyer U.S. Benefold was also conducted a freedom of navigation operation in the Spartly Islands, contested terrorist, contested territories claimed by China. China frequent protest foreign naval operations in those waters and the Chinese media categorize those activities as probatic deployment and the Chinese military accused the U.S. of trespassing and violating its sovereignty. The U.S. Navy 7th Fleet said U.S. forces would continue to fly, sail, and operate wherever international laws allows and that nothing China says otherwise will deter us. And it's just some, I think it's some tweet just going on a bunch of different other stuff talking about hopefully, let's see what it says. Yeah, and there's some, uh, some posts uh, just countering about saying if, if they shall worship in the Caribbean Sea or near Hawaii or Guam that, uh, that we would be doing this 
give them the most freedom as they think they should be giving the United States. To me, I'm not getting any any of this stuff. I'm just reading an article, and it's just, you know, hey, you never know what can happen kind of thing. Um, I think both countries should, well, should be friends. I mean, there shouldn't be tension. You know, it, sh it shouldn't be where everyone's more. News of the China's Chinese naval activity near Alaska follows a call by who? Xing? I hope I said that right. And an editor of Chief, Chief of State affiliated Global Times for Chinese warships to sail new U.S. territory to response to recent U.S. naval activity in the South China Sea through activity observed by the Coast Guard recently predates whose tweets. U.S. Navy Chief of Information near er, Information of Rear. Admiral Charles Brown responded on whose tweets writing the U.S. Navy has upheld the standards and freedom of navigation longer than the PLA Navy has existed. Brown then provided past examples of Chinese warships sailing near Alaska, Guam, and Hawaii. I don't know why people are battling about tweets too. I mean, who goes on... Who goes on Twitter anyways? I've, I don't even I don't even think I've ever had a Twitter account. Like, who goes on that? I mean, that's just me. That isn't like the battleground of the uh, the uh, uh, typing warriors. Uh, it says here, Chinese warships first operated off Alaska's coast in 2015, and they entered U.S. territorial waters when sailing through. The Alatutian Islands, the U.S. Navy at the time, acknowledged that the Chinese ships conducted legal transit. The Alatutian stretch from mainland Alaska west across the North Pacific. The remote and rugged islands sit on the approaches to the Bering Strait, where the Navy naval activity is set to increase as the Arctic becomes more accessible. That's the other thing, too, a lot of people aren't aware of with global warming going on that people some people don't believe it exists uh you have like do you just see in this article that the u.s is going to have a bigger naval presence in alaska because stuff is warming up let alone on the other side of the coast where uh different parts where uh, russia is expanding in the north pole of major operations because so much of the ice is melting a lot of people don't aren't aware of that and uh the earth always constantly changes so um and it's this isn't the first time it's ever done something like this uh it says here the u.s military has increased its activity in alaska officials have even suggested reopening a base in allotutions reflecting what defense secretary lloyd austin has said and how strategically important alaska is to our national security and homeland defense that is just a, a pretty crazy thing to take in. And um, I'm very curious to see in the comments uh, what people have to think about this. Because when I saw this, I was just like, this is just hard to believe. And then it's it's photos and it, it happened. It's kind of crazy that it's not on mainstream media talking about it. But uh, that's just how it goes. And that's kind of what I like doing with this is changing up the videos could be about one thing or another thing but i like to find stuff that me you're not going to see that you're not aware of and i'm bringing awareness of people hearing about it uh if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button existing subscribers hit the bell notification get notified as soon as a video is uploaded also too i have a new merch store that's beowulfnation.com you can actually see all the merch at the bottom of the description if you're on your computer or on your phone but make sure to check it out at beowulfnation.com all the merch that i'm discontinuing is on my first merch store that's i am beowulf so kind of pick any of that up while it lasts um also too i have an amazon store at amazon.com slash shop slash i am beowulf the other th cool thing is i have a free uh, to enter to get free $25 in CRO cryptocurrency on crypto.com. Uh, so it's totally free to enter and it's $25 worth. And you can actually see that in the description 
with that everybody likes free money and it's always good in investing into cryptocurrency CRO is a, a crypto coin that's for crypto.com uh, that you can use that to be buy other crypto like Bitcoin Dogecoin Ethereum and so on on their exchange so like I said click the link you can get free $25 uh, you can't beat that so um, thanks for tuning in remember every day is Earth Day stay mighty and keep strong.